Hello everyone, so in this video I'm going to give a review on the course DSA1 by Anuj. So a lot of people ask me about various courses on YouTube and whether they should watch it or not. So I decided to make a series called course review in which I'm going to take those courses on YouTube like DSA courses, placement courses. And then I'm going to watch it very carefully and give you guys a review of it so you can figure out whether you want to watch it or not. Okay. And the first course that I've chosen is Anuj Bhaiya's DSA 1 course. So Anuj is someone who I've been following for quite some time now. He's an amazing person. And I remember when I came into college, I used to watch his videos. So yeah, Anuj is someone who I've been following for quite some time now. And his course is DSA 1 course, Complete Data Return Algorithm course. So let me guys, let me give you guys a quick review on that. So I've watched most of the videos. I haven't watched all of the videos, but I've watched most of it enough to give you guys a proper review. So the factors I'm considering for the review are pretty simple. The theory, how good is the theory? Because you do need to understand the theory of these. And then how good is the explanation? How good he's able to explain it? The code clarity and the number of problems, the type of problems he explains. And then finally, whether it's enough for placements or not. Okay, so course review part one, Anuj Bhaiya's DSA1 course. So first thing first, the language of the course is Hindi, which I guess you already know by now because all of the videos that Anuj makes is in Hindi. Okay, now theory part. So the theory that he explains is amazing. Okay, he uses a whiteboard, which is similar to the Abdul Bari style and Abdul Bari is a legend himself. So the theory which he explains is on whiteboard and he's able to visualize things. So he explains things in a way that is visualized beautifully. For example, if he's making a tree, if he's explaining something on a tree, so he explains it on a whiteboard. So it's very easy to understand. Likewise, if he's making a video on recursion, he explains it on a whiteboard. So it's very easy to understand how the DSA, how the data lecture is working. So the theory is pretty perfect. The theory is top notch. Like I, I couldn't find anything wrong with or anything wrong with the theory. Coming to the explanation part, his explanations are, like I said, in Hindi. So it's only if you're a Hindi speaker, you can watch his videos. But I guess you already know that, know that by now. So his explanations are also amazing. So if he's making a video on a particular data structure, he also explains whether where it's used, where the interviewer might ask a question, what its uses are and things like that. So his explanation is again top notch. And he also codes as he explains the theory. So his theory and explanation are pretty perfect. I couldn't find a single thing wrong with both of them. Now, the code clarity is also amazing. However, it's not totally perfect. Why is that? Because he doesn't really provide full implementation of what he's doing because his course is language agnostic, meaning that this is the language that he's speaking. But the language of the course, there is none. Like he doesn't do Java, he doesn't do C++. It's language agnostic course, right? What matters more is the understanding. So the code clarity isn't that great because he doesn't always use a compiler. He just writes the code on whiteboard, which is good to understand. But if you want an implementation, if you want a proper implementation, you won't be getting that. I mean, he does implement in most of his videos, but still in some videos, he doesn't give the code. Okay, so the code clarity may not be as good as the theory and explanation, but it's still good for understanding. Now, the problems. So he all, he puts like two to three problems or like a lot of problems for every data section algorithm that is doing. So the problems are again good. He takes problems from lead code sometimes, from interview bits sometimes, from other websites and he explains those problems very wonderfully. So if you watch a solution, if you watch a video of his problem, <laughs> you'll never forget the solution of that problem. So the problems again are good. So that brings me to the to my last point whether it's enough for placements or not okay so his course dsa1 is good it's pretty close to perfect but it's not fully perfect for placements and to be honest no course really is because like i said the implementation matters as much so when you go for placement when you go for interviews you should have a basic an amazing understanding of the dsa but you should also know how the code works okay so that right here, if you're watching his course, the coding part is mostly on you. After you understand the course, after, after you understand the DSA, after you understand the theory part, you should do the code by yourself because like I said, he doesn't provide full implementation of the DSA in code, right? So for the theory part, for the explanation part, it's well and good, it's amazing, but coding, you're gonna have to put a little bit of efforts to be 
placements ready for that so that's it guys that was my quick review of anil bhaiya's course and next up let tell me which one i should review i'm thinking striver's graph course so that's it guys thank you